Hello everybody. My name is Florence and I come from a small nation in southeastern Europe, Albania. Until 1991, for 50 years, Albania had been a communist state with atheism in its constitution. The word God could not even be mouthed by anyone, otherwise you'd go to prison or worse. So I'd never heard about God, but I had this inner earning for something bigger than me. One day I was walking home as a young teenager and I saw on right on that dirt path, I saw this book lying down and I picked it up and it was a New Testament. I took it home and read it and I found out about the person of Jesus. But I had so many questions that nobody could answer as there was no church at that point in my hometown. So a friend of mine who was a Muslim took me to the mosque and he took me to his Muslim Imam who for hours on end instructed me about Islam and told me that Christianity is wrong and that Christ is a well-respected prophetic figure in Islam, but that's it. We do not need anyone to stand between us and God, he said. You don't need any mediator. You just go to God by praying and then you can trust him that he will forgive you because he's merciful, he's compassionate. So I became a Muslim from that point on for a number of years. And in fact, after some time, I decided to go into full-time studies because I had this great zeal to explain to people that Christianity is wrong, whatever that was. It's not the path to life and that Islam was the true way to God. And I started reading the Quran and the Hadiths and everything that else that has to do with, with, with Muhammad as a prophet. And I thought I knew all the answers, but I had this one question that kept nagging me from time to time. How can God, who is holy, who is righteous, accept sinful people into his presence? How can he say you go to paradise even though you're a sinner? How can he do that while remaining a holy God without compromising his justice? Islam has no real answer for that, and I did not, did not want to admit that to myself. But one day after some time I meet this Christian missionary who was aptly called Emmanuel. He was from Brazil, a very mild-mannered man with limited knowledge of Albanian. But he sat with me for about a month and I asked him a hundred or more questions about life, spirituality, salvation. And I said, I want all the answers to come from the Bible. And that's what he gave to me, very faithfully. And after some time, I realized that there was a perfect answer to my question. How can God save sinners while remaining just and righteous himself? He did that by becoming man. Jesus was not a man who became God. He was God who stooped down to the level of sinful humankind by taking on our plight, dying on the cross, fulfilling God's justice and righteousness and also his love. And one day, three days later, he was resurrected and he opened the path to life to anyone who wants to accept him. And I accepted him at that point. After months of, uh, and months of searching, I now came face to face with Jesus who I really knew. And I believed in him. And from that point on, I basically went back to my Muslim school for one more year to evangelize my friends, which I did cautiously. But then I was found out and kicked out and was forced to finish my high school education elsewhere. It was the happiest year of my life, however, as I could tell people now that I did have the truth I had always craved for. And that's why now at the University of Edinburgh, I'm uh, writing a PhD dissertation on the transmission of the New Testament, particularly port letters, from the 1st century to the 10th, because I really want people to get to know the earliest documents of Christianity and to show that the Bible has been faithfully transmitted ever since the beginning. May God bless you, everybody, and thanks so much for listening to my testimony, and I hope it's been of some encouragement to all of you. God's blessings. Bye.